Welcome to the recap show on the Baseball Awakening Podcast with Jeff Rothmeyer. Today, we will discuss the lessons learned and the action items from yesterday's interview. Hey guys, it's Jeff Rothmeyer, and this is the Baseball Awakening Recap Show, where I share with you the biggest takeaway I got from my conversation with Daryl Coulter as well as how I plan to implement what I've learned with my players that train with me in my academy in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And again, as I always say, we want to hear from you because different things mean different things to different people. So it would be interesting to see how you guys interpreted something that Daryl said or something that I'm going to stay here today. And again, I'm going to make a show reading your email because we can all learn something from it. So my email is going to be Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, at BaseballAwakening.com. So send me your thoughts, your comments, or your feedback. This this conversation with Daryl was great. You know, Daryl, the pitching strategist, you know, what does that mean? You know, he just takes guys to another level. You know, there's the physical part which is what it is, and and it's important. And then there's the mental part, which is what it is, and it's important. And then there's what Daryl does. and He helps guys develop strategies and a game plan based on understanding who you are, what pitches you throw, and what pitches you have mastered, understanding how to read hitters, and having confidence that you can be able to execute those pitches. You know, and his whole thing starts, he had the whole five-step process. And it starts with, you know, developing that relationship first and having a deep conversation about, you know, who you are and, and understanding, you know, the, and your understanding of the game of baseball, you know. So I love his process. He had a, a five-step process. And, you know, the first part he gets into, he, and he, as he explained, it really – the understanding the why part, you know, which he refers to as his idea assessment. From there, it gets into the what part. And in that, it's getting them to understand the mind shift change, the mindset that they they need to have, you know, shifting from a compare and convince mindset to a compete and contributing mindset. And then from there, he goes into the how part, which he calls – it's mastering the pitches, you know, throwing pitches with the grip pressure forearm angle until you can't get it wrong. You have zero hesitation when you stand on the rubber getting ready to throw that pit to get guys out. And then, and then from there, he called what it, it's the now part, which is the whole reading and studying hitters part. Understanding the hitter's pattern and tendency, understanding his swing. And what his approach is, which is going to help you develop your approach. And then that when you put all that together, now you have your game day strategy, which is based on competing and contributing. It's based on having the confidence in who you are and in your pitches and that you've done your homework to successfully execute a plan and get guys out. It's a great process, and I'm a believer in it. And it, the same concept can be used for hitters, which is another conversation for another time. But you know what? Daryl explained that most guys do not get out of A-ball. And, you know, these guys have the most physical tool, that all the physical tools in the world, and they have amazing talent. But they can't get past A-ball. And he called it because of what he called an indecision problem. They do not understand themselves. They are not confident in their pitches. They're not prepared for the hitters that are that they're getting ready to face who's taking food off your table. You know, the best analogy that he used that I thought was really great was the NFL quarterback analogy. You know, these all these guys at the NFL quarterback at that level – they are all physically talented. But the ones that study the defense, understand their strongest players, understand their weakest players, understanding his strength, understanding his weakness, and have a plan going in, it's going to be much better than the guy 
who doesn't study the film, who doesn't understand who the strongest player on the field is, who doesn't understand the weakest player. He may not even understand his strengths and weaknesses. This guy is not going to be as confident in the decision that he makes out there. And anytime you hesitate, you're going to respond slower. And when you respond slower at, at the level where everything is moving so fast, it, nothing's going to work out great. And then that brings me to another part of the conversation that I thought was really good with Daryl was he talks about this mind shift, this mind shift change. You know, too many guys, and it's not their fault. You know, they're in this whole compare and convince mindset. You know, we're in a time, and really, it, it's always been like this. You know, we we are constantly trying to compare ourselves to everyone else, you know, to the showcase that we're attending or to the camp or to someone on our team. You know, we're constantly trying to compare ourselves and our performance to theirs. We're constantly trying to convince our coach or that evaluator that I belong here. So, you know, and, and you know, that, that carries over to the baseball field because you see guys trying to outperform other guys instead of just competing and finding a way to contribute to help your team win a game. You know, if you're out there trying to, com- to outperform a guy, you're never going to do as well as you could. You know, so and, and then that gets you kind of away from your strength and your weaknesses. That gets you away from your game plan and your strategy. You know, everybody is different, and you got to accept that. You got to understand who you are and what what you're good at. You know, and and so you the the this whole shift from com, from the compete or from the compare and convince to a compete and contributing. You know, it's going to be a critical part, you know, and you need to focus your energy more on studying hitters and executing a strategy that's going to get guys down and that you'll finally reach your potential. And some guys will probably even overachieve as pitchers, but you got to, you got to, you got to stick to the, the, the uh, compete and contribute mindset. I love that part of what Daryl was talking about. But, you know, he also talked about the the key of this, and he talked about this going on in his very first conversation, that, that deep understanding conversation, their deep understanding of themselves, their deep understanding of the game of baseball. And really, you have to have intellectual, emotional, and personal interest in the game of baseball, meaning you got to want to take the time to learn to read and study hitters. You got to take the time to master your pitches. You got to take the time to connect emotionally with everything that you do in the game and in training and in practice. And there needs to be this understanding of why you play the game. And this is going to motivate you to keep you going when times get tough. You know, and if, and if you're not intellectually interested or emotionally interested or even personally interested, this game isn't going to have you around very long. This game will go on just fine without you. But there, if you're a guy who has the interest and you're struggling and you're not putting together, then you need to get with Daryl because he's going to help you get that mind shift chain, that, that mind shift that you need that's going to get you to compete and contribute. That's going to get you to understand who you are. That's going to get you to learn to read and study hitters and get you to understand that you need to master pitches and get good at the pitches that you can do. So Daryl's the best at this. You know, he's going to help you develop this awesome game plan strategy. So get a hold of him. You that startpitching.com. Start, F-T-A-R-T-T, pitching.com. And then that leads me to a, another part of the conversation that I really like, you know, was the whole routine part. You know, I love talking about routine. And, you know, he explained that that's the gist of what start pitching is. You know, it's specific thought actions required today and tomorrow. You know, routines allow you to get into a rhythm and allow you to flow through things instead of just mindlessly wandering throughout the day and having unpredictable results. You know, being able to develop a routine 
and sticking to your routine is going to help you measure and evaluate. So, yeah, to, to wrap up this show, you know, this conversation with Daryl was awesome. There's, there's nuggets everywhere. There's knowledge bombs everywhere. I would really, I would encourage you guys to listen and listen again because there's just a lot of, a lot of things you can take away from it. You know, for me, the biggest takeaway is going to be, you know, there, there's got to be a conversation with guys in helping them understand that they need, they, they need a certain mindset which is going to be the compete and contributing. I mean, we got to get away from the the comparing and the convincing, which has been around forever. We, we do it in everything that we do. But the, the moment we can have the mind shift chain, things are going to change for guys. So guys need to understand who they are, what their strength and weaknesses are. They need to understand what pitches they mastered, what pitches they need to work on. And then they got to start learning how to, and this has to be taught. You have to teach these guys how to read and study hitters. You know, and, and really, you know, if you want to, if you want a, a, a shortcut, the best thing to do is to work with Daryl. You know, I talked to him quite a bit to help me with my guys. You know, Daryl, I think, is the best in the business when it comes to helping guys make this mind shift change and getting them to develop game day strategy. So thank you all for tuning in. Again, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, whatever, uh, you can email me at Jeff, G-E-O-F-F, at BaseballAwakening.com. Thank you for tuning in.